Oh yeah, that's right. We just did this thing with uh, Karlak and uh, Gringo Trapeze Master. Montgomery is in here. Madrash. With haste. Seems like a good moment to talk. Enjoying the show? Then you're going to love Dribbles. He's about to perform on stage. Oh, I can't wait. What about Madrash? He's performing now. Not now. All right, okay. What about these ones? The circus is huge. Another bard? Did Lucretius hide? <laughs> Stay out of my way, talentless halfwit. Excuse me? What the fuck? You will never be half the bard Miss Silvertongue is. Do you hear me? Jesus. Man. Corner of Stony and Boney's bespoke creations. Who's this? Oh, Mr. Hag. Miss her stink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's dead. There's Stony and this is Bony. Darling, we have a customer. <laughs> <clears throat> is your camp drab? Dreary? Then you have come to the right place. Browse our bespoke Stony and Bony creations. <laughs> or commission a statue in your likeness. <laughs> it is our most sought after service. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to I'd like a statue of myself for my camp. My wife <laughs> shall be delighted. Customs are her favorite, particularly when their facial structure is as unique as yours. Five thousand bucks? Sure. Tremendous! <laughs> Stony darling! Let us put this towards our getaway in the Moonshay Isles. I'll have your statue shipped to your camp. You shall love it. We guarantee it. Amazing. Amazing. Stony? Uh. Very nice. Okay, well, I can't wait to see the statue. I can't wait. You actually go in here? No. That drow's nose was as crooked as you Popper. Oh, oh, hungry little hobgoblin. Want a treato? <laughs> I has lots of treato. And magics and junks I finds. Uh, this little hat. Don't worry. I only takes junks from dead people. Ah, he's nice. <laughs> uh, let me see what we have. Yes, I has lots of stuff just for you. Holy shit, man. This place is incredible. Dark displacement gloves, arrows. Um, oh shit, yeah. Bye bye shit. now. Come back to Papa soon. Okay, Popper. Will do. Gail? Check this out. Sinful red on bone white. Hell yeah. Gail? That looks fantastic. Nice. Okay, that's Popper. Lu Lucretius? Lucretius? Ah! Oh, Lucille! It's Pose, Grapevine, then Pivot Step. Jacob, you have the grace of my great grandmother's missing leg. Ah! Oh, and Boris. Boris! <laughs> Put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. 
I know you have it in you. Step it up. Come on, Boris. The hell? Uh, sorry for interrupt. Is this a circus act? We are decades from that. I hope they can open <laughs> for dribbles. Not that my star needs the support, but at this rate, who knows? Call me Lucretius. Ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage. But these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. It's her circus. Get it right this time, or I'll resurrect someone who can! I want to steal all of their stuff, but I better not. Where is Dribbles? This is Highwire Hilde. Hilde. Do not stand too close. The flames have a life of their own. Okay. Um. Oh, hey, look, it's one of these things. Mum won't let me touch the animals. Bet you don't have to ask your mum to pet a stupid cat. No, you're right. I don't really have to. Asumi, let her touch hey, the cat. Maybe steer clear of the beasties. One of them is near Rabbit, and the other is looking at us like we're supper. Okay, don't let her pet the cat then. I mean, jeez, it's up to you. It's your life. But Karen? Don't know what that is, Peanut. Ooh, don't get too close, or Crimson here might decide you look tasty. Okay, they got a dinosaur here. And who's this Shadow Whiskers? Another. Good. Uh, okay, I'm gonna examine the cage with my investigation technique. I'm going all Matlock out here. Aw, oh, damn. My Matlock failed. Wanna roll again? Nah, not for the this. The bars look sturdy. Phew. Uh, that cage looks comfy. Mock me. Tease me. You will be the first. Uh, first and what? Come on, your secret is safe with me. I'm gonna persuade. Now it's time to win a big roll. Nice. Look. See. They laugh. They shine with innocence. But it is a lie. Every one of you is vicious. Cruel. You kill my meat. Steal my cubs. I roar. Break my cage. And then you die. You all die. Uh. Sure. Okay. When exactly do you plan on killing everyone? Soon. Right. Murder whoever you want, I'll be long gone. Unlikely. All right, Crimson, what's your what's your deal? <laughs> Hunger. <laughs> My stomach screams. <laughs> Press your flesh through bars. <laughs> I blood Wait. I don't have any food for you, uh, but I'll be back, I promise. No flesh meat. Now, now, now! I really want some meat. Okay. Ryland? Don't get too close. Beasties are hungry, and you look like food. It's dribbles. <laughs> He's the star of the show. Buddy the dog is my very best friend. 
Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Hey! <laughs> nice. No. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Dribbles. Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? Um sure did. His opponent his opponent was really clutching at straws. Oh hey! Looks like we've got a proper comedian in our midst. Oh man, dribbles. Good thing too. You know, I'll need shit. someone with your wits for my next trick. Now, where are you? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. Oh. You, my special assistant. I got my clown makeup on, on already. Approach the stage. Oh, look, Gail, you're good at tricks, right? Up you go. I'm gonna. No, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm approaching. A round of applause for the stalwart heart! All right. Watch and learn, everybody. <laughs> this is how it's done. Now, I always tell children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. You notice the clown reaching for something behind his back. Tell me, what makes you special? Um, there's something unique about my brain. No, no, it's not that silly head of yours. You, my friend, are the most special person in the circus in all of Baldur's Gate. Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend, because I have a message just for you! Uh oh. Praise the absolute. You sense something behind you. Instinct takes over. Nice. Dribbles. Do not. Do not. Oh my god. They're letting the dogs out and everything. Soil my hands. Christ. <laughs> Karen's let them out. Oh no. Oh no, dribbles. Is this part of the show? Crimson and Shadow Whiskers. Oh no. Alright. Alright. We might need to actually go and uh, knock this guy out, right? Ah, uh, maybe it's too late. Uh, let's just get this guy. Huge. Oh my. Oh no. They're killing innocent people. You just killed innocent people. Unbelievable. All right. Gail, guess what? It's time for you to do a thunderous strike. Your favorite move. <laughs> oh man, it really sends them flying, huh? Okay. We could try to polymorph him. We can make him drop his stupid weapon as well, which is kind of good, right? So we could do 2 to 16, 3 to 24 on the number 3. Oh, he doesn't have anything metal. I think it's because his hammer is made out of horse tunnel, psionic overload. Oh, yeah, we can do telekinesis on him, right? We got a 40% chance of doing it. Where's a good place to dump his ass? Too high, too high, too high. Let me just chuck him over here. Too far. 
not really anywhere to, to chuck them off. Maybe we could put them in the cage. Put them over here by Lazel. Would be good, right? Oh, he resisted it. Boo! Boo! Alright, Lazel's gonna have to come up here and help this guy for now. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Whoop! Uh, right. Soul Breaker? Alright, he's stunned. He's disarmed. I think he's dead, actually. Fum. It was a. Uh, it was an illusion. It was all an illusion. Uh oh. Who's this? Got like a little teen wolf coming in here. Available next turn. Nice. Huge hit. Damn it. Alright, Karlak, good job. This guy's getting up. Doing a dash. Hell no! Woods are too much to bear. Yeah, we're not in great shape here. We can do confusion. We could do Tasha's hideous laughter on this doppelganger. We can do a blade storm right in the middle here on these two guys. Might be a nice one. I don't think we need to, though. I think it's probably fine, right? Not really resistant to anything. Okay, nice. We got him. Fly. Fly. One can't always be a gentleman. Wendy, I can fly. You have fifty. Um We can do wall of fire. We can misty, misty step out and do wall of fire. I don't know if we really need to. Bitey buddy is here. Annoyingly. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, let's do a misty step over to here. And then let's launch a big fire right here. Hit all these guys. Nice. I'm fury. I am death. Let's get uh let's take out Bitey Buddy. Let's hit this guy. Nice. Get him! Oh my god, he's down. I can't believe that. He's 
he's up. Did it. We leveled up. The circus, we we ruined the circus though. Okay, let's level up. Level nine. We can gain a spell, replace a spell, mass cure wounds. Dominate a person, greater restoration, hold monster. Bestow curse, blindness, animal friendship, fairy fire. Speak with the dead level three. Level three. This is a level five dominate person. Touch a creature and they get any charm, petrification, stun, or curse. Seven to twenty eight healing. Let's get mass cure wounds, sure. What does she get? She gets Brutal Critical. You've trained to strike swift and true. When you land a critical hit, you roll an extra damage die as well as the normal additional critical die. Nice. Glazel? Indomitable? Very good. Which way to the nearest library? You gain two spells. Cloud kill, cone of cold. Conjure elemental. Let's get telekinesis for Gale as well. Wall of stone, banishment. Blight, confusion, dominate person. Let's get conjure elemental. Uh, let's try cloud kill, sure. Don't want fog cloud. Let's get this and counter spell haste. Oh, we never use haste. Remove curse. Burning hands. Okay, let's try like this. Great. What to do? Word from the tribunal. Fum. We see it in you, the thirst, the art, the passion, the trail of cold, bloody murder you've left in your track needs only the finishing touches to grant you place among his favor, but he requires something truly magnificent. The circus has appeared, boasting a collection of misfits and ragtags, more importantly, a stage. Now comes the performance of your lifetime, and when the curtain falls, the tribunal will be watching. Well, he's dead. Ooh. A war pick here. Something good here. Oh no, we don't want to loot Quinton. Oh, on my feet. this is Clown Hammer.
Whenever this weapon lands a critical hit, both target attacker have, have to succeed a wisdom saving throw or be affected by fits of laughter. Hey, Giso, thanks for the raid. What's up? Let's get going. Bitey Buddy didn't have anything on him. Shadow Whiskers, nothing. Crimson had nothing as well. Listen here, Lucretius. Oh dear. Screaming children and oozing corpse, and it's not even my birthday. <laughs> I thought the absolute wouldn't dare set foot in my circus. To use such a woeful dribbles impersonator, why it's downright rude. Uh, are you sure? As much as I love a good murder, my customers don't. The real dribbles charms animals and makes puns. Awful puns. Not this. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus. What? I cannot leave just yet. Not without dribbles. He was a star. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I need him back, and I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? It would be rude not to. Uh, let's talk payment. I'm expensive. Huh. I can respect that. And you're in luck. Because I am old, darling. Ancient. I have seen stars explode and civilizations fall. Along the way, I happened across items of such power that would make you weep with awe. Okay. Find my dribbles. You won't be disappointed. All right. I'll look for them. That's the spirit, darling. And remember, I look after those who make me happy. Hmm? Good luck, and thanks ever so much. Nice. Uh, Boris and Jacob are still up there. Um, Popper is still over here. There's some outhouses over here. Looks like there's like a path down here I don't think we can uh, there's an iron fence that I can unlock here circus of the last days maybe I've got the key no nope. don't give me trouble now. nice I'm in Alvin Muffle Fieldwick gave his fortune to the poor, died in the arms of friends. He will be missed. I'm looking for some perception rolls here. to make back up some of this money now we spent so much we're not allowed to go in here apparently but we're gonna go in anyway better not be cursed The Open Hand Temple. There you go, Gail.
These are all locked. There's a bonfire here. Where's this place? Oh, look, we could get back out over here. Find dribbles. Find dribbles the clown. Dribbles the clown. Star of the circus is missing. Ringmaster Lucretius asked us to find him. Oh my god, man. Loricon wants something to do with the night song. Oh, look, I think there's some. There's something over here for Dribbles, the clown, I think. Is he in the circus? He's not back here. Madame Lucretius, let this happen. And what are you doing here? Ad! Hey. Hey, Ben, thanks for the raid. What's up? How you doing? Do, do, do. There's a uh, disguise kit here. How could this happen? To Dribbles? To my home? I can't believe we had to rely on a stranger to save us. No offense. Poor Dribbles. Where could he be? The Circus of the Last Days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act. Where the hell is he? Hey, guess what? I have no idea what in the hell's happened back there, but I know me and my kid are standing because of you. Thank you. Hey, no problem. <laughs> Triples is supposed to be nice. Why did he do that? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like him. That's why you should never trust clowns. It's better that you learn it now. Okay, Open Hand Temple, Arfur's Mansion. We've been all around here, I believe. Let's go up this road now. Quinara. I ain't looking to make friends or enemies. Go bother someone else. Whoa, all right. Zog? If you're after a job, Neverwinter is on the lookout for adventurers. That's where we're headed. Seraphin? You look like you need to clean off the road, Dad. <laughs> Almost as much as I do. No good ends with hot water in a tub on this side of the crossing, though. If you are in the market for potions, I highly recommend the Velveteen Elixir. I've not been this well stocked since Waterdeep. Am I going to talk to every single NPC in Baldur's Gate? Yeah, I am. I'm on an adventure. Like, you got to talk to people to find stuff to do. It would be most pleasing to sleep indoors for once. Who's this? Oh, 
Izzy and Mavis are down here? It's up for discussion. You can't get in trouble for trap for trust for sneaking into places as a kid, right? Just wondering. <laughs> We're gonna see the mummy, the dryad, the Ginny, everything. So don't even think about trying to stop us. Stop! Stop in the name of the law. What are you guys doing? If you're looking to enter the city, hope your pockets are loaded. Bastards are charging a fortune. Well, I just had a, a statue made of myself. Have you heard Baldur's Gate was safe, right? Well, it's a bloody lie. They've banned refugees from the city as if we're the problem. What's this place? Oh, this is the Smithy's place. Hello. Hi. <laughs> or want a blade? Yes. Or a bow? Yes. Or a dagger? <laughs> yes. Or maybe a spear is more your thing? You look like you know how to use a spear. Buy a spear. What'd you say? Huh? I want a spear. Uh, show me your wares. Oh, yay! <laughs> the Rivington General. They got... Oh, my God. Swire's sled board? Look at this bone spike garb. Very rare clothing. Slab jaw determination. Gain 15 temporary hit points whenever you rage. Exoskeletal endurance. Reduce all income and dam damage by 2. When the wearer is struck by a melee attack, the attacker takes 1 piercing damage. I should get this for, um... What's her face, right? But, uh... It, I mean, it's good, but she she does need armor as well. She doesn't have anything that gives her armor rating for having nothing on it, right? Look at this very rare glaive with extra reach. Barbs get it naturally. She's it's sixteen right now. If we take the plate off, it goes down to eleven. And this is ten. Take off the helmet and the boots. This light armor and this medium armor. She still has 16. Oh, and then she has 13. Ah, I see. You think this is worth it? Bones by garb, it's two thousand bucks. All right. What about this? Six to fifteen. This is seven to sixteen. This has weapon enchantment plus two with finesse and extra reach. These are just arrows. Weapon in enchantment gives us plus two bonus to attack rolls. Finesse gives us scales with our dexterity instead of strength. If your dexterity is higher. But otherwise, uh, it'll scale with my strength. Which the longsword does not.
three thousand bucks for all this? Let me give some of this stuff in the barter as well, right? Blade of Oppressed Souls. Ketherick's Warhammer. I don't think we really need this, right? Just sell it. Shadow of Menzo Baranzan. <coughs> higher enchantment also means higher crit chance. Higher hit chance. Oh, nice. Okay. That's good. So we can get rid of this Githyanki half plate as well. And where it dashes or takes similar action during combat, they gain three lightning charges. So we need any of this stuff. Okay, we're gonna barter for this. And then balance the offer as well. Bartering? Oh, it's been refused. Now we gotta now we can do it, right? Alright, nice. <laughs> you never sell magic items? So we're at 13. And if we take, uh, okay. Want more? Want less? Wanna sell? Wanna buy? You know where I am. Bye! Okay. If we give Bracers of Defense to her, it's better, right? So now she's up to 15. She gets plus two because she's not technically wearing any armor. Speedy light feet are considered armor. So is this. What were Gale's boots again? Boots of speed. Click heels. There, she can have those. What can we give Gale? Armor of Agathis. The graceful cloth. Cat's grace. To in increase your dexterity score. This is medium armor. This is heavy armor. Boots of apparent death. You can feign death. Let's give those to Gale. Uh, we're gonna need to get... Uh, fuck, I've got all this stuff. I can't believe it. Radiating orb gloves. Where it deals radiant damage, receive one turn of radiating orb. This is light armor. Dexterity saving throws? Animate dead. Invisibility and blur on a ring? Eagle Gale? Fuck. Got this clown hammer as well. Restore Bardic Inspiration. This is Boots of Brilliance. Disintegrating Nightwalkers. Can't be webbed, entangled, or ensnarled, and can't slip on grease or ice. I think we can give these to, um... 
her. And then give these to her. And then I can take these Bardic Inspiration. Restore Bardic in Inspiration. Play your instrument to restore one of your Bardic Inspiration slots. It recharges after a long rest. Okay, nice. One of the magical pair of rings. True Love's Caressed. Surgeon's Subjugation Amulet? Is everybody wearing an amulet? Okay, let's give that to her. She needs a hat of some description. It has to be something um, <coughs> with no armor rating on it, right? Soulbreaker Greatsword. The Dancing Breeze. What is this do? Sh Shadow Blade. We have a shadowy short sword in your hand that deals 2 to 16 psychic damage. While obscured. Man, I don't have any decent rings to give my, uh, to give my guys right now. Very rare heavy armor. Very rare heavy armor. All incoming damage is reduced by two. The melee attack hits you, the attacker sent reeling for three turns. Attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer. This one is all incoming damage reduced by two. <laughs> when activated, you can't be moved against your will by any spell or action, but have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. And this gives uh, a cantrip, Howl of the Dead. Let out a bone chilling howl that numbs all nearby creatures. I think that's good. <laughs> oh yeah, she can't. Uh, she can't be crit anyway, right? So now we have armor rating of 19. Um, Gale is going to need some armor, but it's going to have to be light or something, right? Gale. Now we can't look at Gale in his undies anymore. It's just a no, isn't it? Talk, toggle the camp clothing? Oh, phew. Okay, that's better.
Oh, these aren't, this isn't camp clothing. I need some better shoes for him. Maybe he should have some sandals. Tasteful boots. He's got tasteful boots. Tasteful boots. Oh, hold up a second. That's better. Now he's got matching boots. <laughs> yeah, now. Now we are talking. You're right. Got his cape on. Nice. Okay, so we need a we need a helmet for her, right? But it can just be like something like this. Allied undead within range. Yeah, we might be able to buy something. We can always check. What's he got? Mm Looking pretty good, actually. Looking not bad. We still have some stuff that can be... What is this? Melee? A torch? No. No. No, 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 no. I don't have any decent rings to equip on the, uh, on the girls. None of this, uh, none of this stuff applies to them, unfortunately. Don't worry, we'll find some. Mr. Saturday Night's not proficient with shields? Yeah, he is. No time to rest. It's fine. Yeah, he is. Doesn't say that it's not. What happened to the ring from the octopus man? I don't know why his AC is 10 if he's not. I don't think we have anything else. 10 and then it should give plus 2? I don't know, but it doesn't say that he's proficient or not. Dad, if you click on the item slot on the character, it will show you what you can equip in your inventory. Easy. Oh, he's on minus 5 from corrosive spit right now. That's why. He has, he has corrosive spit. You click on the item slot on the character, it will show you what you can equip in your inventory. Easy. Now I know, but I just have too much stuff, though. I need some better gloves for, uh, for Gale as well, right? Your unarmed attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 fire damage are pretty good for him, I guess. Is an unarmed attack, um, like a magical spell? And it's a free Scorching Ray as well. Sure. You want to click on Carlac's head slot? It's a, it's everything that's, that's here. 
But we don't want to give her anything that actually has armor, right? Because then it'll mess it up. Why is Gale naked? Because he's our mascot, that's why. And when we were when we were in heck, it was really hot down there. Turns out it gets really hot down there in heck. We've got back again. Want a dagger or a bow? Need more arrows? Uh, need a spear? Um, yeah. Oh, yay! Maybe. Elven chain? Um, we want to trade some stuff. Black diamond, 215 bucks, five pearls, let's get some of our money back, jade as well, definitely a broom of flying, the other hand of Vecna, Lonely left boot of elven kind. Two shovels, a summon golem bell, which only works in the gauntlet of Shar. And then all of these dumb potions. Like a million dumb potions. A warding bond? Shadow blade, shapeshifter, snow burst. Bardic inspiration. Had a fire ac acuity? All right, what have you got? Do we want to sell some of this stuff or just send it back? Want more? Want less? Want to sell? Want to buy? Oh my god, okay. I think we're okay for now. Take this bow. Uh, this stuff can be sold. There's a magical walnut here as well. Oh. 
One, one magical walnut. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm almost done. It's actually nice to have a bit of a sword out. Back again? Oh, yay! Okay. Want more? Want less? No. Should mind my step. Okay, great. Let's try like this. And for what? You didn't even fight back. Right. Cormac and Brigid. Can I help you? Oh, bloody ribs. Sorry, mate. Had a run in with a mugger. If you need something, ask the missus. Brigid? Don't wander around Rivington alone, all right? Okay. My husband did and got mugged and beaten for his trouble. Oh. Area under investigation. Is this where the mugging occurred? Kimmy? Mommy keeps talking about some army, but she won't tell me anything about it. I'm not a baby. You have a, a little baby voice, though. The absolute army is on our doorstep. You want to live? Get out of here before it's too late. With everyone, please stop going on about the Absolute's army. Lord Gortash is going to sort it all out. You'll see. There was a perception roll on this uh, on this woman. Oh, it's not the woman; it's the well. I know. Hey, look, we're down in a well and somebody's been murdered. Oh, shit. There's been a murder. This target's too far. How is this possible? What is this? Movement speed? Fly. Pot lid, some more camp supplies. There's another murdered refugee over here. It is a big well, you're right. There's a whole trail of murdered refugees here. Half our party is stuck. Last warning. You're sticking your immigrator nose in where it don't belong. You got a brain in your head, you'll stay in your filthy camp with the other absolute or vagrant scum. Your girl didn't get that memo. You really don't want to know what happened to her now. Scram. Holy crap. That's crazy. This must be his girlfriend. Dead. Come on, let's go. Oop. One with the weave. Gale can't make it. He's having a lot of trouble jumping over here. I think you gotta go over here, Gale. Whoop. And then from here, you got. Oh no, you can't. Okay, yo. Oh. Gale can't get back here at all now. He's stuck. have to misty step over. All's well that ends. 
Not as bad as it could have. How much farther can I go? Is there any... That might be worth Nice. It. There's a winch over here. No one stopped me yet. Come on, everybody, over here. Okay. It's time for Gale to shine. Direct me. that winch oh maybe we just gotta like shoot it or something all right what now it's twirling it was hmm. oh what's that oh yeah it's done it Sunlit cave no mouth. Home will ever believe this. If I just go through here, everybody will come out anyway, it. right? I won't just go in on my own. Yeah, perfect. Don't nice. Where step. does this go? I wish I had a bag of holding. There's another Perhaps dead refugee teams. here. Where the heck are we? Oh, we're like up over here. Weird. Uh, we can go underneath all this, but equally, I think we can probably go up. It looks like you can do a huge jumping puzzle right up to the top if you really want to. Yeah, let's go under. Explore the beach. Hmm. What's that? Nice. Okay. I don't think there's anything down here. There's uh, some sort of camp on the other side here. I don't really know how to get to that. I guess you could probably just jump over. No. Or not. I can't even fly over, so I'm probably not going to be able to jump over.
There is a cave in here, and there's some bloody footprints leading to it or coming out of it. Yeah, there's some people up here. It looks very bloody. Oh, it looks like we're fighting. Um, it's Karlak's turn to fight. Can't reach the destination. We now have Whirlwind Attack. We also have Blinding Shot. Mr. Saturday Night, he's been hit twice. Man down. A gift for a loathsome neighbor. Cure wounds for a level five. Muzz. Oh, these guys are all. Um, got an eighty percent chance to chuck him in here. He saved. He saved himself. Fuck, man, it never works. <laughs> it's what, like the third time that we've tried? It just doesn't work. I am fury. I am death. I just want to chuck somebody into the drink, you know? else is even damaged there. We're gonna have to do a sleep now too, I think.
path is interrupted. Death. As you wish. We <laughs> got him. <laughs> Fucking camera. Look in your head. <sighs> Lovely little pick me up. Finally. Crawler mucus. Coat your active weapon with poison. Fuel report Deathstalker Zoom. Aspirin Dolor is talented. If a touch careless, the dagger he discarded lurks within these caves somewhere. Though I know not where, I can smell it. The fear musk from his kills stand in the air after the act because he lets them marinate first. They stand, lie, sit, stalk still as the poison fills their limbs with lead, knowing only two perfect facts. They're going to die. There's nothing they can do about it. Creepy. Roll to the yeah. easy part. There's a flowery key. The clown severed torso. This chunk of corpse is still garbed in clown clothes. Colorful torso, torn and butchered. Hello, Dribbles. We found Dribbles. The effigy of Ilicera, who watched and waited. What, what use her eyes? She thought herself a huntress, but couldn't fathom her wool. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood, or in the red. Okay. I can't believe that they did they did dribbles like that. God, it's a real mess in here, huh? those jammies There's some more bodies in here Redil and Brecca looks like these people were trying to hide in the tunnels here so Orin uh, didn't work dear mrs. priest this letter is written the careful but erratic hand of a newly learned writer mom says I need to say thank you more so thank you thank you for telling off that nasty woman who was shouting all those nasty things at me that's three times i wrote thank you now four so i think mom will be happy one more thing did you see my teddy anywhere i think i dropped it during all the shouting oh my god the hand drum here and some worn slash strip sandals Quest for alms. Please, Father Lorgan, Rector Yanis, if you have any food to spare, our stomachs yowl at night like kick dogs. Carrots, apples, we'll even crunch an onion if that's what you got. Yours, Tholdra Tholdrin. Oops. He should have sold some of this stuff. There's a traveler's chest here. Casual sandals. It's 
more backpacks here, dude. Where's this pouch? It's here, and there's another backpack here, too. Oh my god. A half-eaten apple. And a burlap sack. Um, there's that, um, cutscene where she's talking to, um... What's-his-face, and she said that she's killed a bunch of people. This must be them. This must be what she's talking about. But then she kind of says that she's got to do it again tomorrow. And the next day, and the next day after that. Beware. This place is trapped. No. Need healing. He's almost dead. I was standing right in the poison. Corrosive spit. came in. What the heck is over here? Cloud kill. What the hell is cloud kill? So many camping supplies. There's a way in here. Oh, where does this lead? Disarming the trap. Oh, it's a 20. Nice. Can't keep me out. There's gotta be something good in here. <laughs> Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. You have to be fucking kidding me. Sixteen gold and a minor healing potion? How do you know? Fully crazy. Oh, 
Um, uh, we'll go around this way, I think, to get in. There's gotta be a way to open this, right? I pressed the button, but nothing happened. Some more stuff out this way. How am I going to get the team over here? Doesn't seem to be a way to open this. Oh, the, le the, the lever is on the other side. Heavy Chester, I missed. Proceeding. Open sesame. Never a dull moment. Nice. All right, let's have a long rest. Reset some of this stuff. What the fuck? Queen Vlakis. Scrum. You are a Sherlock. And still, you speak my name. Sorry? I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Voss. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Voss lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hashalak, will listen. She can, we she can do a game life. over immediately. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great Dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule. Return to the Astral Prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Bart of Vlakith. Bart of Vlakith. My only, my chosen, a final chance. Kneel before me, make your promise. Lazar's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlaketh. Wow. 
Uh, we can connect with Lazel's Parasite Commander. Dragons, this is your destiny. Stand your ground. Don't fall for Blackett's slides. Neil Lazel, to be the God Queen's Chosen is an extraordinary honor. Well, the thing is, though, is if we cross her now, she will just wish for us to be dead and then it's game over. Want to do it? Wisdom, we don't have a great chance again. We can persuade her, though. I think we're going to persuade her. It's a 30. Oh, shit. So close. Look, we can do a... Uh an inspiration roll, though. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> ah. Oh, come on, game. Fudge. No, I have not cast off my chains only to be rebound. All right, it's game I over. I gave you my faith, and you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word your word is nothing you are nothing the kithraki will bring you i will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death i will consume you Look, we were just trying to have a fun sleepover party. We were just getting into our jammies. We were just about to brush our teeth and stuff. We put on our fun makeup and everything. Why you gotta ruin it? If not over, oh, then through. We're not dead though, at least. What's the what's the deal then? Vlacus appeared to us in camp and made Lazel an offer. Kill Orpheus. She will ascend Lazel to the astral plane and honor her as her chosen. Lazel refused, angering Vlacus. Lazel believes Orpheus the way forward for the Githyanki. We should meet Kithrak Voss and find out how to free the prince. Okay. Oh, that's well, that's fine. We found a cruel and deliberately staged murder scene in Baldur's Gate. It could be the work of Orin. Yes. Quite possibly, Orin killed Dribbles the clown as well. Maybe it'll bring us closer. <sighs> Soldier, my engine. It hurts. I think this might be it. Soon. Uh oh. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. But look. We've just about made it to the city. That'll do me. Let's go protect it. <sighs> Whatever happens after that is between me and the so-called gods. Look, I have some more of these things. Uh, no. It's between you and Gortash. No, it's between you, me, and Zario in Avernus. Oh, yeah. Ha! She'd turn us both into sheep, then serve mutton for dinner. Let's stay here, where it's nice, for as long as we can. <sighs> I'm so excited to go home. Anything that comes after that is extra. I've got some more of those plates. Oh, <gasps> it's beautiful. Wow. The true hero of Baldur's Gate! Oh, man. They captured it 
perfectly with my violin and my cool robe, and my hat. Oh, man. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? No. Be most welcome. I came to admire my new statue. I paid 5,000 big ones for it. You should join my camp permanently. We can fight the powers of evil together. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Uh, okay, cool, thanks. What about you, Isabel? Are you gonna join too? Keeping very well, I hope. You haven't healed yet? What will you do now that your father's gone? Look after my angel, of course. She's been through more than I can bear to think about. A hundred years in the Shadowfell. A hundred years being murdered by Sharans over and over. It fills me with a rage I can hardly contain. She's a formidable woman, my Aelin. But no one could escape such horrors unscathed. Yeah, but she's immortal, though. She's in my hands now. Like, yeah, it sucks, but... I intend but... to help her through whatever's to come. We'll both of us stand by you when the time comes to put down the horror that threatens this city. We are your allies for life. Okay, good. Good to hear. That's what I was hoping you'd say. Gail? I hope you're here to discuss that contract you just signed. Agreeing to give away our greatest hope of salvation wasn't the wisest of moves. What do you mean? According to Raphael, that crown destroyed an empire. Imagine what other evil it could do. And handing it over to a devil will be a way to prevent it? Come now. You're many things, but never that naive. Come I on, Gail. I don't even know what you're talking about. We're hoping for in this world-ending endeavor of ours, letting that devil get hold of the crown must not be one of them. No. What we should be pursuing is knowledge. We need to learn more about that crown. We should pay a visit to Sorcerer's Sundries. Their book collection is the envy of the sword. Oh yeah, you wanted to go to I'm the... I'm certain the truth lurks somewhere there, on their shelves. Apparently it's a bug. Oh, right. Gail randomly getting annoyed at me for something I haven't done yet. Yeah, I, I was wondering what he was talking about. I've never... Uh, I didn't sign any contracts. Uh, sounds like an excellent idea. The only kind I have? Ha! Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, nethery sex are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain We've had this course. conversation before, Gail. You'll have to forgive my ego. Yeah, like some but dementia my or suspicions here? prove to hold water. This could be the answer to all our problems. Okay, well, I mean, thanks for that, I guess. I... Fucking hell, Gale. Gee, fucking hell. Grub? Grub? I'm just a cat. P -p please talk to Yenna. I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna hurt you, kitty. I d d don't like talking. <laughs> uh... Is Yenna mistreating you? Y Yenna is my best friend. She's kind. H help her, not me. May I pet you? P please don't. Why not? Do you know what happened to Yenna's mother? N nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. M maybe she made like a cat and went off to, to spend a... Life. Okay, well that's creepy as shit. Yenna? Um, hi. I it's me, Yenna. Yes? You remember me, right? I do, you yeah. Were really nice to me before, and um my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Yes! We can play one a cup. No, it, this is it, it's Yorin. It's it Yorin Orin. It, it, it is Yorin. Yorin. No kid, no kids allowed. Oh, fine. Of course you can stay. Yes. 
I'm just everything. I'm calling oh, it. This is good. this is a Whatever spy. You want. Thank you, thank you. This is a spy. It's too too random. Too random. Look, the cat already spilt all my collection of potatoes on the ground as well. So annoying. So annoying. Where is Lazel? Lazel? Where do you stay when we're here at this place? Oh, here she is. <sighs> it is done. There is no going back. No, I know, as long I know. As the undying queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the astral sea, never to cross the one in the void, as it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? You probably just need to have a shower. Uh, we could do wisdom um, to explore her emotions. You want to do that? Need a 10. Had really bad rolls tonight. Oh my god. Fuck. Lazelle has been ostracized by her queen. Why should she not feel bitter? True. Okay. You're you're grieving the future future you'll never have. Black it took everything from you. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, and new allies. Vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so, from the old battle cries is birthed another. Shmar Zala Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. Orpheus' will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Um, you've been quick to pledge yourself to Orpheus' cause. What about your own needs and wants? What next? We find Voss at Charesse's caress and retrieve the key to releasing the prince. Right. Orpheus tough King Narsin. What about uh, what about the emperor though? He's protecting us. Um, okay. What if I fall off a cliff again and there's nobody there to, um, prevent me from falling? Where's all the sleeping bags? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello, bedrolls? I don't even know where they are. are they, aren't they meant to be like here? Or here? Oh, they're in the barn. There's a letter here from Arabella. Let's see what Arabella has to say. The ink is still fresh and the letter is drawn in a careful hand. Hey you, so I owe you a lot. For one, I don't know what the inside of a snake's belly looks like. For another, you let me stay at your camp. And for another, another, you found out what happened to moms and pops. I'm on my own now and Bone Man says it's a good thing. I just have to let the weave guide me. And as far as I can tell, it's tugging me to Baldur's Gate. So I'm heading there first. Anyway, thanks for everything. I won't forget it. Arabella. Um, gather your allies. Arabella is back from learning how to control her powers. We can trust that her magic will be there to help us when we need it most. All right. Oh, so in the final... It, yeah, it's going to be like in Final Fantasy 2, like the big showdown where all your friends turn up. Tella, Tella, the ghost of Tella comes back and he does Medio. Um... Rydia is uh, is an adult and stuff. Arabella is going to come back. Okay, let's go to bed.
Mm. All right, let's get back out on the road. We're in uh, like a mini dungeon here. A mini, a mini dungeon. Um, we want to have a look through here. There's all these unexplored areas. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker, born 1400 DR, died 1456 DR. Do you think we can talk to his dead ass? Anybody up for talking? No, he's, he's undead. Oh, that means he might, uh, he might turn and attack us. Here lies Satida Atana. Born 1411 DR, died 1485 DR. Here lies Reloric Windbane, born 1399 DR, died 1486. Here lies Sister Shira Clarwin, date of birth unknown, died 1491 DR. The Amulet Spirit's granddaughter. She's already gone. Oh! Um, help the cursed monk. We learned that Shira Clarin passed away. She's buried in a crypt under the temple. Oh. faithful to the crying god. Long didst I wait. This is so creepy. <laughs> Honored Shira, her spirit hath fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh, 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 shall it be thou? No, thank you. Uh, we could do a, a ponder what you think you know the monk's affliction. What are the consequences of accepting it? Oh, it's a 15. Let's add some luck into the mix here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> this fucking game. I'm failing every goddamn roll tonight. Jesus. I'm, I'm doing one more. Oh, fuck. Fuck off. Fuck these stupid fucking dice, man. Jeez. Finally. The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. Um, gods, no, I don't want to inherit your curse. What happens if I say yes? I think we have to fight him. We'll, uh, we'll lose some wisdom, apparently. If it will bring you peace, I will bear the madness. Does that mean that I'm just going to be giggling and shit all the time? I have the spell already. Yeah, I have the spell already as a, as a, as a bard. I'm just going to get it again. What happens if I say yes? Thou shalt know the extent of Shah's mania, Tasha's hideous laughter at thine beck and call. But at what cost? Who might say? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. <gasps> Your muscles tingle and your mouth twitches as the laughing madness spreads through you. The madness tugs at your mind, prods in places best left untouched. 
You feel your wisdom begin to drain. Um, call on your wits and shield your mind's most vulnerable reaches. We could do constitution. We could do illicit wisdom. Call on the parasite to absorb the strike. Yeah, let's do this. It's a two. I'm sure we'll still screw it up though. Oh my god. You remain wise as ever, even as Shah's madness spreads outward. You nice. giggle, <laughs> struck by the absurdity of the moment. A spirit hiding inside an amulet has brought you to the body of his granddaughter and possessed it. Outrageous. Ridiculous. Once again, you feel your wisdom draining away. Hilarious. What is it? Oh, no. Uh, master your sense. Okay. Call on the parasite to absorb the strike. We could hold firm with constitution. Hold firm. You will make this curse a gift. You will not surrender your wisdom. Oh, shit. Yes, finally. The urge to laugh dwindles. And you can't help but chuckle. You withstood the monk's <laughs> madness and earned Tasha's hideous laughter. Nice. So, is it, is it a spell or is it like a cantrip or...? My friend, forgive me, for this mind was not mine own. May laughter be thy gift, never thy curse, the morning lord calls. Canst thou feel the warmth of his blessing? This is not my final twilight, but a new dawn. Farewell. The corpse is an empty husk once more. The monk, liberated from madness, is finally at peace. Nice. He's gone. Well, he was always good for a laugh. Oh, man. I, uh, I completely forgot about that quest. And luckily, um, I like to uh, look at everything because uh, we would have maybe missed that. That was great. Okay, so now I have Tasha's Hideous Laughter as a action that I have to reset on a long rest. As a level one... I can cast it four times if I want to. And this I can cast just one time. Telekinesis is uh, is uh, is reset on a short rest as well. It doesn't use the spell slot though. Yeah, I know, but it's still only use it once. Um, bard. College of Lore. Um, what other spells can I even? I I, I can't even swap anything out. I just don't have that many spells. You can swap spells on level ups. Oh, right. It's only uh, Gale that can do the uh, the the preparing. Frickin' Gale, eh? Frickin' Gale. What's inside? What is inside? Oh, gross. We're out. Oh, I see. Oh, 
open hand temple. We're back up here now. I don't think we're, um, oh yeah, we're fine in here. It's be illegal to be in here. I think I found dribbles. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Um, not yet. I'd hurry if I were you. In this heat, things tend to go salt. ripe rather quickly, if you catch my meaning. What's that noise? Um, Fyodor, you fight good, doppelganger, not so good. <laughs> True. I thought maybe we'd be able to get him on board as like an ally as well, but. Later. These guys are still just like going through the motions and nobody's even here. Open Hand Temple, Arthur's Mansion, the Rivington General. Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Maybe. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? Yeah, I think Halson stayed behind in, uh, in Act 2. I don't think he came with us. Um... So long as it comes with a very generous discount. My weapons are a bargain at any price. I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? Um, I like to hum a little funeral dirge. Add a sense of occasion. I see. Playing to your strengths. Keeping things simple. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? Um, inspired. The rush of adrenaline does wonders for my creative process. Killing holds no fear for you, does it? You understand what it takes and what it gives. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? Um... Um, perhaps, if there is no other option. There's a killer inside you, isn't there? It wouldn't take much to push you over the edge. Oh, still rolling in the muck, I see. Oh, man. Gortash knows you are coming. Knows you have the Bone Lord's stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. Oh, you could kill him. Let him close and make him feel the tickle of your blade between his ribs. <laughs> Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. She's toying with me. What does she want? I don't know, but I was actually... Ah, uh, yeah. You! What? Try attacking me when my back isn't turned, you bloody cow. <laughs> I didn't attack you, I've been out here the whole time. Don't dare lie to me. I saw you with my own eyes. Grinning at me like some bloody imbecile. Hey, where the fuck did my clown paint go? Smirk right off your face. 
Oh, shit. Um, we could do a persuasion. You had a blow to the head. Are you sure you're remembering co correctly? It's just enough, actually. That's well, more than enough. Well, I, I had like so many bonuses. I'm sure it were you. I'm almost certain. Ah, uh, God's be damned! I don't know. I'd have sworn, but my head's pounding. I don't remember. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. He's actually drinking. What do you want now? I wanted to buy something. And go down to the bloody shop. That's not work to do. <laughs> God, what a bastard this guy is. A fucking crying ass bastard. Just wanted to trade a couple of things, you know? Get my trade on. Okay, let's go into these double doors. The Rivington General. Hello. I have a... Oh, I, I've been in here before. Of course I have. Okay, we, we, we've already bought all this stuff. We went down in the well. Hunker's Boolean. Ever wanted to meet the most cowardly dragonborn in the realms? I fell for the blockhead. I'm not scared of the authorities. But it would be stupid to pick a fight with the fists. Right? <laughs> I mean, sure. I don't know. There's no point arguing with the guards. We're not getting past that. Oh, frickin' no. You think I know? You want to speak to Angry Maria? There's Oyster Boy Dringo here as well. Woof. Um, woof. Charming effort, but you can't fool me. Whatever. So what the hell are you doing in my kennels? Um, I'd like to buy a dog. They're not for sale. These are courier dogs, trained to follow orders, read maps, and protect their deliveries with their lives. They're worth more than their weight in gold. All right. I think I found one of your dogs. It's Scratch. Found him, did you? I can't say I'm surprised. Gomwick never kept him on a tight leash. Bring him here, and I'll give him a once-over for you. Check him for worms and so on. Oh, yes, please. I'd love to see him. He's a good dog. We'd both love to see him again. Are you two going to kick him? Uh, you're being awfully harsh on the boy when I arrived. It's the only way to teach him. He behaves worse than the dogs and makes more of a mess. All right. Are you happy to see these people? <gasps> Scratch! Oh, it's good to see you, boy! Shut up, Dringo, and get back to work. And you've been slacking as well, Scratch, my boy. This dog is property of Sword Coast Couriers. I'll take him off your hands now. Um... I thought Scratch belonged to Gomwick. Gomwick was his handler, not his owner. Um... You shouldn't raise your hand to him like that. He lives with me, you can't just take him. I can do whatever I please. He's my dog. Now get out. This is a private yard. Okay, look, I'm gonna do a huge persuasion here. He's forgotten his training, he'll be a terrible influence on the rest of your hounds. Look, he wasn't even happy to see them. He hates them. I 
I'm not surprised. Gonwick always indulged him. And he's got a spark in his eye I don't like. Looks lively. Take the useless mutt if you're so inclined. I'll have nothing more to do with him. It's not just Scratch. She's always hurting the dogs. Yeah, Dringo. Shut your mouth, Dringo. Last warning. Um, I hear Lord Lord Gortash abhors animal abuse. Perhaps I should report you to him. I can do a, a deception or an intimidation. Let's do a, a deception. I think that'll that'll get her big time. Fine. You think you can do a better job without me? Be my guest. They're a useless bunch of mongrels. You're welcome to them. God, she's so pissed. Hey, Dringo. You got rid of her. I'll do a better job looking after these dogs than she ever did. I promise. Um, Scratch? Let me talk to this dog. Woof. Oh, hang on a second. Dog? Thank you for making Mistress go away. She was horrid. Hey, I did the right thing. Here, open this one up too. I want to talk to this dog. You... You... I'll do... All right. Good. Mr. Good Deeds here. Ah, a new face. Something to send. Don't be shy. Um. Danzo Arkwright. Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. <laughs> Wait, delivery not guaranteed? Well. We've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell Fair you, enough, it's yeah. left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? Um, any idea where the birds went missing? I can find the pigeons for you. My fees are very reasonable. Well, uh, if it's not too much trouble, uh, I'd be much obliged. Any letters you find, bring them back to me, unopened, of course, and there's some gold in it for you. Okay, fine. I can do this. I can do this. I think the pigeons are just in here somewhere. Or maybe on the roof. You just hiding the pigeons up here or something? Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. This guy is the, the pigeon gatekeeper. Let me talk to these pigeons. I've no need of a wing. Man. <laughs> Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. <laughs> okay. Name and rank. Quickly now. There's a war on. Uh, against the Absolute, I know I'm fighting in it. The Absolute? Poppycock. Enemy propaganda designed to confuse simple minds. <laughs> Not your fault you fell for it. <laughs> you need a strong leader like myself. To see the wood under the trees. I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Triumph. State your purpose, Groundwalker. I don't have all day. Um, I hear some of your officers have gone missing recently. What happened to them? Oh, damned awful business. Fine fires, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Not one rooftop away. They're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. 
If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. All right, Pigeon. Uh, Karlak is inspired because of me talking to some pigeons. Hmm. A little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. <laughs> okay. Greetings. I am an experienced forge assistant. Currently stuck in Rivington, but I expect to get into the city soon. When I do, I hope you'll grant me an interview at your famous foundry because I'm going to need work and I'm really very good at hammering and, you know, tonging. Anyway, don't forget me. I'll be coming around shortly so you can see if you want to hire me. Henry Tong's Buckster. Holy crap, there's so many letters up here. I can't go out this way. It's locked. It's locked. The life of Beaky. Beaky. All right, he said to the west on this rooftop. So the open hand temple roof is killing pigeons apparently. We have to go investigate. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead, murdered. What? What happened? I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. Okay. She's our... She's our prime suspect. That was such an odd response, wasn't it? Wow, look at this. What the heck? Look, investigator. <laughs> Brildor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. What the You're fuck is something. this guy? You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. <laughs> you are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. What's he like a detective? Shitey little elephant. <laughs> oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. Did you call did you call him shitey? Don't apologize. Sounded like a load of bollocks anyway. Uh sounded like you were having quite the disagreement. You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgore. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgore. The politically convenient target. Right. No murder story I've ever read has ended simply. I bet there's more afoot here. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning. The investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Oh my god, I excel at this. Where can I find the investigator? Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. What, that elephant goes there? Okay. What should I be looking Valeria for? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. All right. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. Drama sleuth. Nice. Mr. Saturday Night is inspired. Very good. So is Gale. Wow, the team is... Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. Oh my god, okay. The investigation can start here. We'd been down there already, and yes, there were about a million murders down there. 
we witness those. I think we're looking for like perception rolls, right? And we also need to get up onto the roof to see what's going on with the uh, with the pigeons. I've lit the bonfire. How do you get to the top? Is there stairs in here? Infirmary. Justice endures, even in suffering. Infirmary? Oh, look, they got some bunk beds in here. There's a portrait of Snowy Brownbeard. Very nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. What's wrong with... F oh, Father Logan, he's been murdered. Okay. I'll take that. And all this stuff, too. What ails you? Marsh fever? Featherlung? Be quick, I've not got all day. Uh, I've got warts all over my uh, ass and genitals uh, that need looking at. I'm looking into Lorgan's death. I need to ask you some questions. What do you want to know? Um, who do you think killed Father Lorgan? I reckon Investigator Valeria is right. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. Holy crap. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Logan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. God, that is sick. We give them everything. And all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Please, leave me be. I've got an awful lot to get done. All right, sorry. I just wanted to ask you a couple more questions, but that's fine. You carry on. Um, there's a... We've never been in here, which I think is going to be the way up, right? Belfry. Bell ringers only past this point. Okay, I'm going up. Prepare. There's going to be a whole load of dead pigeons up here, by the way. I can hear somebody humping. I hear humping. Listen to all this humping in this place. Pong. There's a burnished necklace. Fly down here. A cat with wings. There's a cat here with wings. Mr. Dakarios, heavens! Fancy seeing you here. Tara! <laughs> that can't be you, Kate. <laughs> I suppose you won't be terribly shocked to find your old friend Tara amongst the pigeons. They've always been a personal favorite. My, is that a ring? For us? You shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. Um, Gail, she's been eating those missing courier pigeons. Tell her to stop. Oh, right. Did you hear that, Tara? Um, stop it. Well, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Dakarios. Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. We received a ring of blink. Ring of blink. Where is it? Where is it? Where, where is it? Where, where'd it go? 
Wait, who has it? They didn't give it to Gale, did they? They did as well. Blink, level three transmutation spell. Fast, but we just get Blink. Okay, let's give it to her. Wait, no. Yes. Okay, perfect. There's a bundle of letters here. So many inspirations. I can't, I can't see. Gale? Tara remains as willful as ever. I'm glad you finally made her acquaintance. Given the length of my time away, I feared she might have given up on me. Oh, I should have known better. She'd never do such a thing. Uh, that's something Tara and I have in common. I wouldn't have her any other way. Was there anything else you needed of me? Uh, no. Okay. Follow me, everybody. We're going down. You want a flying cat. I think everyone wants one. Okay, well, the mystery of the letters has been solved. You'll be pleased to know. Um, let's go speak to this guy. She's allergic. Okay, I found your dead pigeons. I suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? Yeah, I got them. I found the letter, but it's very difficult. I'm afraid my fees have gone up. the kindness you've done me what a relief uh he's giving me 312 bucks all right let's go see what these pigeons have to say about this great headline leave me be groundwalker i've reports to prepare is there any more intelligence available for this mission? Sorry, Commander, I'll return to my mission. You'll want to watch out for the enemy's observation post, of course. It's all this point around these parts. It used to make a bloody awful racket, but it's fallen silent. <laughs> no doubt our enemy has claimed the territory. Oh yeah, we gotta find Dribbles the Clown. A part of Dribbles has been used to create a gruesome art piece. We should continue searching for his body parts. We found his torso. One of the doppelganger assassins underneath the open hand temple had a strange flowery key. We should find what it opens. Oh. This is the open hand temple, open hand temple murders. Flowery key. I, I don't know what that opens, actually. The voice acting is phenomenal in this game. If you're looking for Ill Martyr's charity, you're out of luck. They've turned their backs on us. 
like everyone else. Uh oh. All right. We've got to find a use for this flowery key, but it might be. I don't know, actually. Oh, we've been back here. We've been in here as well. Must be in the basement, right? There's some blood here. Maybe it's like updated the basement. Do 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 do. I don't remember there being anything locked. What did this button do? We don't know. We pressed it, but I don't think it did anything. And this is where we did the, um, the, the laughing hoo 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 hee hee laughing guy. button do oh weird <laughs> miracles of the outer city would be saint teachings of Ilmater. I think there's anything else over here. We've done that. Heavy chest. We can talk to um, the guy's uh, dead body. I don't think we can talk to any of these ones. I think we tried already, right? <laughs> the corpse has nothing to say. Oh, this one's got something to say. Zom. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Um, did you kill Father Lorgan? No. Dolor did. Dolor. Spare <coughs> did. Kill. Holy crap. Who is Dolor? A blood red dwarf. Tricky. Hungry. Um, where is Dolor now? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Um, I found this flowery key. What's it for? Flop house. Dolor's secrets. Oh. 
Um, what were you doing here? Cleaning up the long, messy, <laughs> left his dagger, careless. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Nice. Great investigation so far, by the way. Really good shit. Where did he leave his dagger? Not there. The corpse has nothing to say. Now these guys would be glowing green. If they had something to say. Did we speak to Brekka? <clears throat> Were we able to speak to any of these corpses? The corpse has nothing to say. These ones would be green in here if you could talk to them, right? Where is, where is Dolores? <laughs> we learned from a dead doppelganger assassin that the flower cube found unlocked something in a flop house. Something that will reveal Dolores' secrets. The flop house? We need to go find a flop house. The heck is a flop? Where is a flop house? Hey, look, we could talk to him, too. Father Lorgan, what happened? The corpse regards you lifelessly. Uh... Where were you attacked? Tunnels from the cellar. Refuge. Um, who killed you? Dwarf, dressed in red. Why did he kill you? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. What were you doing when you died? Aiding Brilgor from fists. Oh. Where did you hide him? Took him to the tunnel with the rest. Oh, fool. Fool. <laughs> fool. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay. I gotta find this flop house. Investigate Frego's flop house. There it is. And then this one is Charesse's caress. So it's just like up here. I don't want to be 
down this way. There must be something. They won't let us in. <laughs> and they ask we are nice too. <laughs> Like a ten-year-old kid with like a little little baby voice. That will make a great headline. I'm not going anywhere, not till they let us through. Well, no, yeah, that's kind of how it works. Get in line. We were here first. Ah man, he's so sweaty. Heartless bastards. If they just listen, we can't get in. I, I have family here. They said we'd be welcome. Please, my son, he's only a boy. Take it somewhere else. My hands are full. Oh, man. Whoa, look at this guy. That will make a great headline. Hello. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash. Refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Um, does my friend here look like a refugee to you? I'm not a refugee. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Yes. I can take care of myself. I don't need any money to support myself. I live off what I find in nature. <laughs> oh, that's going to be such a good option for one of my other playthroughs. Uh... Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's Decree on Extraordinary Wartime Measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? Um, my name is Mr. Saturday Night. Well met, citizen. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection. Resonance. Um... What in the hell is that? Thing? I am a steel watcher, citizen. Here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. Enver. State your business. Um, we could do a bard deception. Baldur's Gate is next up on my Faerun wide poetry tour. Let's try that. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Eyes open, body still. Uh, do she says stand still. Behind the watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Whoa. My engine, it's almost... I don't know... Buzzing. Like it's paying attention. The Your hell? party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever-alert, scrying eyes. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimforge. Uh -oh. And the stone floors left bloodied. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers. Oh, no. And the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Uh-oh. Come quietly, or die. Do we have to fight these guys? Ready yourself for a fight? If we consent to arrest, we just have to fight our way out of jail? Are we, are we fighting? Fight. Good God. Oh, 
That's probably a wipe. This this, this thing is insane. Two hundred and six thirteen. Fascinating. Look. Nothing will stand in my way. Lens the journalist. Keep it down, Lens the journalist. Outraged. Oh, we can't move. Been maimed. this do? At the end of your turn, roll a d20. On 11 or higher, you vanish into the eth ethereal plane. While there, you can't be harmed or seen in this world. Oh. Do a counter spell three. Oh shit, it did not work. Oh lord. Uh, it's Gale's turn. That will make a great headline. You want to do a telekinesis on this guy? 70% chance. Fascinating. Oh, Reed is outraged. This is front page material. What if I can't, um... Chuck over the uh, the cliff here. That's what I wanted to do. Um, if I try to move, oh, we're once again immobilized. We can hit this guy though, Kepso. We can hit Jepson. I think they can reach to get this. That will be a great headline. Oh, I can't use this. I need my action and bonus action for this. Target's too close.
we can't, um... Fascinating. I can't right-click on that. It's so annoying. Our readers will be outraged. Main shit. I haven't been able to fucking do the whole fight. dropped his weapon. Yeah, he has. Maybe get one of these guys to drop theirs to this guy. Alright, Gale's up. Pretty much dead. Try to hit him. He can actually move now. Oh yeah, he got up, right? This is front page material. Gale's turn. Can't really do anything. Down again. Great headline. He's dead.
Ah, oh, it didn't work. Time to strike. Great headline. That worked. Nice. Gale! Not again! Dead. That'll make a great headline. I don't know how I'm gonna get these guys up. Maybe I can do it with the uh, mage hand. Hand. Oh man. <laughs> Saved. Great headline. Where's where's my little mage hand? Can't get him up now. Fascinating. I will ascend. You need him back. I'll read his way. Outraged. Come on, Gail. Front page material. Can't um, this can't help people up? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> nice. Uh oh. All right, good. Job, Lazel. Very nice. We're gonna have to get this bard up. One bard. Nice. 
Nice. Electricity. Survival is all that matters. Arabella's shadow entangle. Entangle undead and shadow creatures. Nice. Thirty six percent chance to to uh, move him as well. It's pretty good. Metal heated? I, w I whooped his ass. Well, Enough time wasted. it was a ropey Back one for sure, but his ass got whooped. Yeah. I can't believe I won either. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours. It seems. Oh shit! Yeah, it was the uh, the oh, journalist. Outraged. <laughs> yes? Uh, are you trying to get into the city? Got a minute to tell me about your experience at the gate today? Yes, I do, yeah. Um, Slow down a second. Who are you? I'm Lens, roving reporter for the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. My editor sent me to cover the drama out here at the gate. He wants some fluff piece about the heroic steel watch keeping the mob at bay. Whether or not that's the truth or not. Um, and do you think it's the truth? That the refugees here are desperate, hungry, scared people. They're no mob. They just want to be safe. I've heard the rumors. Absolutists marching from Moonrise Towers. Whole towns felled by strange curses. It's no wonder they ran. Of course, I can't write any of that. My editor only releases stories his friend Lord Gortash approves of. And he's very selective. Um, I'd love to speak with your editor. Where can I find him? At the Gazette's print house. Though it's in the lower city, so you'll need to get past the gates first. Come to think of it, you remind me of someone he was writing a piece about. Yeah? You, uh, might want to speak to him about that. Set the record straight before the ink is dry, so to speak. Now, if you don't mind, I've got some edits to make. What? Sorry, can't talk. I'm on a deadline. She's just gonna keep going on and on and on. This is front page material. <laughs> she is. Oh yeah, we were down there. We came out down there, didn't we? That'll make a great headline. Look at this Watcher Greatsword. It's humongous. Fascinating. It's too heavy, we can't pick it up. No, never mind. 
When is she going to... When is this one going to move? Outraged. You think we could just like... Chuck her off a cliff? There's no... There's no good cliffs here. Great headline. I want to loot all these. Stillman's murder still unsolved. City watch under scrutiny. Fascinating. Yeah, maybe we can make her fall down laughing. With Tasha's hideous laughter. Violence is drawing the wrong kind of attention. <laughs> Keep going, and there might be trouble. Uh oh. Sorry, can't talk. I'm on a deadline. <laughs> <laughs> Moving ahead. material. Oh look, she's given up. How do we get rid of the great headline? I think she's trying to call for help. Fascinating. No, she didn't think it was funny. Right. Lens, Lens the journalist. Outraged. She's only got eight health. This is front page material. Oh my god, she's so annoying. That'll make great time. Aggression has won you no friends. Any further violence could be met with the same. I don't think we can throw her, no. I don't know. I guess we can just go through here. I can't loot any of that stuff. It's just... Oh. I think, uh... I think we've aggroed some stuff. Yeah, look at... Oh, no. Do we have to fight, like, the whole way now? entire town I don't know I guess we'll see I think I think the checkpoint here for sure at least taste my fury It's just this one guy. Flophouse? We can bond with ton of people and pray none of them has sticky fingers. Okay, hopefully. Yeah, I think we're fine now. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Discovered a waypoint. South span of worms crossing. This is the Fragos Flophouse oh, sign. Put my hands on everything. Mm. 
I think it's up here. I don't mind it. Honestly. Well, I do. Which means we're getting a real. Alright, let's go in here. Let's talk to Crank. Hmm. The missus and I have been dreaming about the city. No more sleeping rough. Didn't expect to find it locked down tighter than a watcher's fist. Adventure Rosanna? Come to Baldur's Gate, he said. Adventurers get welcomed as heroes, he said. Poxy Drim and his bleeding notions. Drim? Bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren. And they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. <laughs> Why won't they let you in? The bridge god had some shite about a coronation. Couldn't really make head nor tail of it. Okay. Griska. Word to the wise. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. Rude buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. Um. To be fair, their high priest just died. Does that excuse being rude? Excluding folk? Come off it. They wouldn't let me in. Spouted some tripe about my sort and absolutist murderers. I only wanted to sit down a minute. Um, what's your trade? Let me show you. Are you serious? You know what? I'll take all these. And I'll take this as well. Um, and you can have all this crap. How's that? Oh, shit. Barter? Pleasure doing business. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Listen, it's got private rooms, music, and all round pleasant folks from what I Worker Bernier. What do you reckon, lad? You trust these steel watcher thingy me jigs? <laughs> What's a steel watcher? You bought your head recently. Didn't you spot them by the gate? Big metal bastards. Even bigger swords. Oh, yeah. It's all right, one. Well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Uh, it's no good, I tell you. Okay. All right. We're looking for oh. A vampire spawn turned into mist. Didn't know they could do that. Vampire spawn. What the heck? Um, maybe we gotta go. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Well, I didn't take shit. <laughs> okay, this guy. Is he up here somewhere? It's gotta be a way in there. A couple turns should do it. Twenty five? Jesus. Your lock picking is attracting attention. Tread carefully. 
Why is this guy up here? What are you doing up here, worker Bernier? You're not meant to be up here. You came up the ladder. What if they build a machine that can drink points? Put <laughs> the bloody city out of jobs, that. Will you fuck off? Is there a door here? No. There's a door back here. But it's not on the right level. We'd have to get to this door. Ah, uh, we can do that. Temple plans, bloodstained parchment, there's a disguise kit. Okay. Father Lorgan's been killed. Dribbles the Clown's been killed. Alexander Rainforest's been killed. Frank Pear Tree. Uh, Cora Highberry is still alive. Figaro Pennygood. Chef Rovere. Nash Alicia. Vary Van Thampur and Friedrich Hoon. Those wishing to face the Dreadlord's Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and frame the corpses of murder by the Cult of the Absolute. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Walk in blood, Aspirin. Okay. There's some These temple plans here. Too. Shapeshifters. Father Lord's name is written here too. Ooh. Smarmy swagger boots. A mellow black shirt. Goes to Gale. Another blood stain out here. Blood near the bed. Two hands now, two hands, two of them. More needed. Not enough. Must cover myself. I'm going to be covering blood more. What blood? What's this blood? Notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. Uh, we can try to do an investigation. I've been rolling like shit tonight, though. You notice the blood source. A body hidden under the bed. Oh my god. I've pulled out the body of Fion Goldgrind. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Um, what were you doing? Who are you? How did you die? Murdered by my son. Oh my god. A son who spills his own mother's blood is fated to spill plenty more. Who is your son? Dolor. Fucking Dolor. Why did your son kill you? Um, what does your son look like? Dwarf, like me, dresses in red. Uh, why did your son kill you? Found his secret, my sweet boy. Killed his own mama. What was your son's secret? Killed folk slowly. He liked it. Oh my god. The spell's power wanes. 
You can ask no more questions. That poor mama. Holy crap, she does have a key. I know this key. It's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. But well, the flowery one. Cheese here. What's hiding here? That shapeshifter's key unlocked the door. Interesting. Huh. Watch it. Oh yeah. This guy's not not too happy, right? Solve the open hand tell murders. Free Orpheus help Kithrak. Okay, so this is is the um, the other place, right? Let's carry on with this murder one though. This is cool so Honestly. far. Well, I do. Ooh, being able to fly is really good. when the murder is probably me okay the thing is it was not nymph's grotto there's some there's some naked nymphs in here well they're not totally naked but what's going on in here Beautiful. More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dunes swept across the Kalim. I gotta get Gail a bathing suit you like are that. The fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin. Sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Hello! <laughs> Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's... What's wrong, Jara? Uh oh. What are you? Wait. I know you. Um. You aren't safe. Get out of here now. I don't understand. What's. Your face. The Absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this man? <sighs> Uh -oh. Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? Um. You're not going to believe this. Um, it's a big 1v1 because of uh, me doing some flying, which uh, honestly I'm tempted to just do again. Ooh. 
I can't, uh... Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. I need movement to do it, right? Hey, Hope. All right. We need to, um... We need to get all these guys over here, right? Crave blood. Charmed, I'm sure. Gale? None kicking. Like it's will be done. How the heck are we gonna get up there? What's the way up? Uh, there's some. I think we can go around, uh, no, not here. Within reach. Maybe we just go in here. Welcome to the Oh, this is the caress. Maybe we go up this way. Oh shit, man. I don't even know how to get up there. Okay, let's try going around this way. Okay, perfect. No, it can't go out there. Your desire. All right, Gail, you're just gonna have to miss step over, I think. Okay, everybody's here now. Oh, all right. I won't give in. We can't move anymore. I'm lying. We can move a little bit more. Let's do psionic backlash. No. Dominance. Nice. All right, now, maybe. Not enough movement. Not enough movement. Can't reach destination. No time nice. to waste. Yep. Can't, um... Knees high. Nice. Roll in my face. 
favor. All right, good. And then we can do a telekinesis on him to throw him. Uh, off. No, we can't. To throw him over a bridge. That's right. <laughs> My turn. Nice. No hesitation. <laughs> Got him. I'm so sorry. I had to um, kill Fist Jara. Hells, I'd heard tales of mind flayers, talons sharp as daggers, and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tale did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Oh my god. Its blood shimmers like silver. Um, one word. <laughs> Yuck. Your client is dead. I thought you'd be more upset. That thing could have killed you and you're musing on its beauty? How could I help it? I don't regret its death. But I marvel that such a work of art could ever live. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens, and your heart skips a beat. Uh-oh. We had an insight roll fail. Uh, well then, I'm glad you're safe. As am I. My thanks are as bountiful as your courage. Take these. May you have some comfort in bitter times. Be well. Be beautiful. She's given us superior elixir of arcane cultivation. Thank you so much. There's a wooden chest here. Nice. Sending that one back to camp. Um... got to be like the VIP room in here, right? Can you move this folding screen? Oh, look at that. Maybe there could have been a secret back there. Oh my god, man. This place is huge. Double doors? Moan loudly in the library at all times. <laughs> it's gotta be, uh, there's a balcony here. But, so, where is this accessible from? Nowhere. This just exists on, it, on its own floor. You gotta come up from, is this whole place? Oh, Gail. Gail wasn't even part of the party. Welcome to the party, pal. Interesting. Okay, we can lockpick this. We might be able to just open it. 
with a flip of the wrist. Oh my god. These rolls. This is the library room. Rules of the reading room. Anyone caught pleasuring themselves in the library will be tethered to the bookcase of chain books. Any wizards caught examining the special collection without express permission will be commanded to read aloud to the whole library the passage they were enjoying. Anyone breaking the silence of the library will be promptly gagged. Holy crap. He's getting worse. The whispers, the night terrors, the blood. I know he's hiding something. And the others in the flop house know it too. I've seen how they look at him, how they look at me. They're scared of him, and I can't blame them. I am too. Underestimate the forgotten prince's closest sword. There's a dog collar in here. Anything of use? This comedy of errors centers around the butler, Vincent Raspington, who, who, though he is a silly dragonborn with stiff manners and generally baffled attitude to the goings-on of fine fair ladies and their gentlemen, ends up going arse over tea kettle into extremely erotic situations with the local nobility. Needless to say, he's unprepared for it. There's a particularly good sequence in which Vincent, a seven-foot-tall dragonborn, must pretend to be a shy little gnome named Missy Wimblesnatch during a banquet. <sighs> the butler's cane has a knob on the end. <laughs> there you go. It's a great one. There's a surgical bed here. Is there anything everyone is I'm not looking Oh boy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Gail? You're trying something on here. Wait. Where'd it go? Oh, man. Look at that, Gale. That looks great. It's still not as good as what you had before, though. Okay. What about you? Ah. Wait, what did you have before? Shadow Hearts clothes. Wait, how did you get Shadow Hearts clothes? Okay, Gail. False alarm. Time. What about me wearing it? I guess I could actually. You want me to put it on? What? Instead of my. Uh, there's green. Nice. Nice. Black. Very nice. Very good. Okay. That'll do. There's a music box in here, too. Now that's some proper attire. This is the devil's den in here. Devil's Den. Is there anything duller than it's Raphael. You must hear me, Devil. Oh, it's I boss. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. 
There is only one thing in this world that I desire. Boss looks like Christopher Walken uh, audition for the for the live action Grinch movie. The Kithrak. What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael, for the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, to Luck Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. Okay. What were you guys doing in here, by the way? I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. What? What is it? For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Did you just cure me of the tadpole with the click of your fingers? <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while, so we can enjoy some privacy. The Illithid can't hear us. Huh. What's the catch? <laughs> uh, then speak freely. Tell me why you brought me here. I brought you here because I'm true to my word, and I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Unless some have already sprouted in places I can't see. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. I but no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it. In the palm of your hand, though. Uh, the prism? In a manner of speaking. But it's the one inside the prism that you need. Not the Illithid. The Gith. I can give you the means to break him free. Yeah, but... Speak, devil. We're listening. If we break him free, he's going to attack me and kill me. Straight away. Orpheus's guards try to kill me. He's dangerous. To Elithids, yes. But despite your reckless embrace of the parasite and recent mutations, you're no mind flayer. Not yet. Orpheus would gladly execute the Emperor. But to you, he will be a friend. After all... You're at war with an elder brain. Um, all the evidence I've seen suggests Orpheus is my enemy and the Emperor my ally. The Emperor is the only reason I'm still alive. No, Orpheus is the only reason you're still alive. The Emperor is abusing the Gith for its own ends. And it's doing the same to you. You're nothing more than the beast of burden that will transport it to the elder brain. An ox requires food, and the occasional beating to keep it moving. 
You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. But if he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. Um, it's worth ta taking the risk. How do I free Orpheus? I'm convinced. Tell me how to free Orpheus. We're done here. I'm leaving. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. It sounds too good to be true. Good and truth rarely go hand in hand, but in this case, they are happy bedfellows, and we can be too. I don't I know if Gale... You, I have the solution to your problem. It's very convenient that you have exactly what I need. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. There it is. Of course. What are you hoping to get out of all this? Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin too and you give me the crown that dominates the elder brain oh my god and you lazel of Kalir, want to free the forgotten prince do you not i want nothing more yeah well you can't give this guy the so, crown is it not a crown for a hammer a bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilir. Handing that crown to this devil will be like feeding gunpowder to a lava worm. Agree to nothing. Gale coming in with some big truths. It'd be insane to give such a powerful artifact to a devil. Better to have it in my hands and far from your precious world. And in the hands of the gods and monsters that fight over this city's soul. Um, what exactly is the crown? Power. Ancient and full of wonder. I have craved it ever since the archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago. And brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky, like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus' folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the nine under one archdevil supreme. Oh my god, man. Me. <laughs> Zariel wouldn't like that much. But even I'm not so desperate to spite her, I'd put the hells in this bastard's hands. <laughs> oh, jeez. The idea of you ruling all nine hells doesn't fill me with joy. 
I think you'd make a fantastic Archdevil Supreme. What makes you think you'd succeed in using the crown where Karsus couldn't? Why didn't you take the crown there and then? I'll take the crown and use its power myself. I'm gonna have to take the crown and use its power myself, right? We can't give him the crown. Because we need the crown to um, either control the brain for ourselves or destroy it. The idea of you ruling all nine hells doesn't fill me with joy. The hells require order to function. It is what separates us from mortals and demons. With the crown, I would impose perfect order, unity, efficiency, <laughs> control. My kingdom would control its borders and stay within them. Um... Why haven't you got hold of the crown already? It was stolen from right under my nose all those centuries ago. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged, but only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Fucking hell, man. Uh, what makes you so sure I'll get the crown? It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Oh Take Raphael's God. deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. No. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. Oh my god. He claims his ambition is to unite the hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? God, no. Skvar! We should do as the devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. Lazelle, you're crazy. Um, I'll control the crown myself once I have the nether stones. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, you were serious. The crown has laid low all who attempt to harness its power. Arch wizards, emperors, gods. It would tear you apart. No, come on. Look at me. I'd rather destroy the crown than risk it falling into the wrong hands again. How short-sighted. Much better to put it into the right hands. Hands that will ensure it is removed from this world. And it's the only way you can ensure that you remain part of this world. Uh, no deal, Raphael. I'm leaving. <laughs> I won't stop you. But time is running out. So... Don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. He kicked me out. Hey, look at how much health he has. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Lazel? The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp. 
And you refused it. Why? Because he's the fucking devil. We don't need the deal. We can take the hammer from the House of Hope. I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. I'm annoyed by it. And I admire you for it. All right, come we on. We must speak with Voss. Then we find our way to Why don't we get nasty at the camp tonight? We'll take the Orphic hammer and use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk Githkar Tafki crash it. The Githyanki will be free. Gail? So, the devil himself is pursuing the crown. Yeah. As for whether it's truly the crown Carter's forge, well, I think it's safe to assume we shouldn't take anything Raphael utters at face value. No. We must claim the crown of Carter's for ourselves before anyone else does. Agreed. Um, what about you, Carlac? Raphael must be raging we didn't take his deal. Luckily, his desperation made him careless. Did you hear what he said? The hammer's in his house of hope. If we wanted, we could steal it right out from under his nose. Yes. Granted, it wouldn't be easy. Devils guard their treasure by especially lethal means. Oh, it's fine. What do you suggest? We would need to find a diabolist. One worth their salt should be able to get us into that devil's lair. One last trip to Avernus. At least it'd be for a good reason, right? Right. Um... How are you feeling about the loss of will? You know what, I'm not even bringing that up. I'm leaving that one. Okay. Raphael's... He's got a mahogany wardrobe. Just gonna have a quick peek. There you are. Oh. I thought I'd lost you. No, no, I'm here. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. It was the devil. It was Raphael. Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Well... He offered me a deal. How very gumptious of him. What were the terms of this deal? He offered me the means to free Orpheus in exchange for the crown on top of the brain. Tell me, you turned him down. I don't see how that's any... I turned him down. Good. I am glad. But be careful. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. Okay. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Yeah, yeah. Without my protection, you cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it. No matter what the devil whispers. This in guy your is a huge uh, brain gatekeeper. Uh, like he thinks it, you know, you have to go through him for everything. I can, I can, I can find the brain on my own, no problem. Anyway, I'm gonna look for some bondage gear inside this mahogany cabinet. Oh yeah, blue flare and black flare. Okay, mm. everybody can wear some nice bondage gear for their jammies. There's a supplication scrapbook here. Nice. There is a Devil Don't Rhyme, a verse time. epic. Very good. And more invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. There's a Strap Choker Leather Ensemble. It's so tight. Great. Gail, you want to try that on? There's a leathery garb here as well. Okay, Gail. Where are you? Which one? This one. Holy crap, look at that. It's got the choker and everything. Still, though, Gail, 
I think you're better the way you are. All right, listen, Chad, I gotta go to bed. I'm tired. We'll continue uh, this tomorrow. Some progress has been made for sure. It's been, uh, it's been, a uh, it's been a time, hasn't it? Good session, yeah. Um, listen, uh, I'm recording, uh, the Triforce, uh, tomorrow with the, with the lads. And then after that, I believe we're going to do some co-op of, uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Failing that, we'll just carry on with the solo run. Sound good? Okay, good. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And thanks so much for the support as well. Thanks for the subs and resubs, and thanks for the donations. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you then. Have a good one. Peace. LOL, chat. Lots of love. See you later. Bye now. Bye.